So I'm going to start a new document in Flash, ActionScript 3, right? And the first layer is where I'm going to put my movie clip. I'm going to select the rectangle tool and create a little box like that. I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to select the box. Okay, so for the selection tool, I'm going to hit F8 to convert that bitmap into a, uh, that box into a symbol. And a type of symbol is going to be a movie clip. And we can even give it a symbol name. So say orange BTN. Let's say that this time. Orange BTN. All right, so it's a movie clip. It's orange BTN. And hit OK. Now once I created a movie clip, I will try to control that movie clip through the action script. And in order for me to uh, successfully do that, I need to give it an instance name. We're going to type in orange btn into the instance name. Now if I hit control enter, right now it doesn't act as a button. It's just sitting there. And it's going to uh, be like that until I enter the code in there. So I'm going to enter the code. Since I'm going to have more than one layer, I'm going to start naming them. This is the uh, button. And the new one is going to be, the new layer is going to be action script. And usually it is just AS3. Okay, for action script 3. And here, click on the first keyframe of the layer AS3 and I'm gonna hit F9 to bring out the actions panel and I'm gonna type in orange btn dot so I'm calling on that button I'm saying hey I'm talking about that orange box there the orange btn <coughs> and I'm gonna say button mode which flash understands if you can see that's a blue reserved uh, word that flash knows equals now that's a boolean so I'm gonna try I have to answer whether it's true or false so this one is gonna be true alright once I've typed that in I should have that little a indicating that I have action script there on that layer All right, that means you typed it in the right place it should be on action script layer here in the first keyframe now I'm gonna hit control enter to test my movie and hey we have the little hand up here Although it doesn't lead anywhere and the button still is not a rollover button or anything. And uh, now I'm going to close this off and I want my button to behave so that I have different colors when I roll over things. And this is not a button symbol, this is a movie clip symbol so it's going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to go in and double click on the movie clip to go inside so I'm on scene one inside the orange BTN mm -hmm. and I have a layer one notice that that is the, the buttons movie clip we're not any longer on the main timeline right? right this one I'm gonna name it a button colors or just a button but I'm gonna leave that there for now and I'm going to add three more keyframes so uh, put your cursor on uh, frame 2 and hit F6, F6, and then another one. So I have four keyframes. Select the second one, and that will select your box. And with that, we're going to go in and select a darker color or, you know, different color. So it goes, goes red, like so. And then go on the third one and go even darker and we're also going to uh, while it's still selected go down and to the left and the second time when when here we have it a little bit higher and to the left and here it, it will look like it's pushed in and then this fourth one I am not going to change because I will never see that that's the part where it activates the button where it knows to roll over okay so if you decide to play it right now it's gonna flash different colors like so and we don't want that we're not done yet alright so don't test it just yet go ahead and create a new layer and name that labels <coughs> labels 
and also create keyframes in there. F6, yes. And then on the first keyframe, you're going to go into properties uh -huh. and type in exactly as I do underscore up lowercase. And that will create a little label with a little flag. Then we have the second one. We're going to type in underscore over. We're hitting F6 on these to create frames. Yep, to create keyframes. The next one, underscore down. And the next one, underscore hit. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. Yep. Thank you. Is it hit or hit? Hit. H I T. Okay. So, and I'm going to type them in here. Up. Ooh. A little too big. So this is what you type on the first one. This is for the second one. What is that just brought up? I'm just showing you what to type in. You don't type this in. This is just so you guys can see that better. All right? All right. Up, up goes on the first one in properties. Over here, down right here, and hit in here. All right. So underscore up, underscore over, underscore down, and underscore hit. And then we need one more thing. Is it one more layer? It's going to be a stop sign. That's what I call them. You're going to create new layer, and in the first keyframe of that layer, we're going to hit F9 to bring up actions. You're going to type in stop, and that is what's going to keep it from going all these different colors um, changing so fast, right? So now the colors are not changing and if you roll over you will have red color you click on it, it's gonna go down and go even darker and that's a button, that's a working button you just created your first movie clip working button we, we just hit stop and then we can click it 